Thank you, thank you. So we sent you all an email asking for questions in advance, and we had loads, hundreds, in fact, back. Um, and so I'm going to go through and ask a few of the questions on behalf of the audience. So uh, you guys can... Simon's struggling with his Britney Spears mic there. I'm having uh, a lot of fun with this thing. Having a, I want... Can, I, I really sexy? wish I just had, like, a headset, like we record with. That would have been ideal. That would have been. That would have been. Well, uh, just a really comfy, <laughs> lazy boy chair. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. You're good. I'm He's good. in. He's in. Um, so the first question. Can I just do a test? Yeah. Would you like to? Ah! Say? Is it working? Ah! Can you hear me? Ah! It's working. Yeah. The sound guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay. They heard it outside. <laughs> so the first questions uh, we got uh, from George and Arthur and a couple of others um, asking, how did you guys meet? How did we all meet? How did it all begin? Uh, you invited us on your podcast, and then from there, it from was there, just uphill. It was just, it exploded, you didn't it, really? We were right just languishing in obscurity until we were on the aw- awesome show. Incredible. Of inc- incredible, incredible podcast. That podcast you did. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It was yeah. good. It was good. Um, but before that, you guys met in World of Warcraft. Yeah. We were in a, a something awful guild. Uh, called Yogs, hence the name Yogs Cast. Ten years of misspent World of Warcraft. Yeah, I wouldn't. If I had to do it again, probably wouldn't do it again. Really? I, I was a young female paladin with lovely long right. blonde hair. And I thought no you beard. were an actual girl. Wasn't a dwarf. I wasn't a dwarf. <laughs> I was trying to get on your good side. What um, were you? Like giving you stuff to disenchant. We were hunter. I can't remember back then. You must yeah, have been a, a hunter. hunter. Good times. Good times. Good times. Next question. <laughs> okay, um, so Elia asked, what is your fondest memory from being part of the Yogs cast? Simon. Uh, probably today when I turned up to the green room and there were just loads of Jaffa cakes waiting for yeah. me, including that, the giant one. The giant one, I yeah, know. Yeah, the big one. The big one. So that was there. Uh, and that's literally the highlight of yes, the whole... I think. Really? Yeah, it's Simon not the doesn't fame, have a very good memory, It's not though. the money. It's not the women and the fast cars. It's not that. I'm pretty sure it's not those. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I don't have any of no. that. Uh, but the Jaffa Jaffa's. cakes. That's yeah, to look forward yeah, to. That's been it. <laughs> Lewis, would you, would you have a different fondest memory? I think um, I always enjoy playing just... I, I remember some good times at conferences, playing games, people... Christmas live streams were always a highlight for me, doing that every year. Just, just playing games all night long. Yeah. I just think sitting me, and playing Civ for like six hours. Yeah. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good evening. That's good fun. I'd say for me, it's, it was definitely when we did our first uh, interview, I guess you'd call it, with Warwick Davis. Oh, my God. When we, when we had the Yog Pod kind of suddenly start becoming reality. Yeah. Uh, not that it ever wasn't. But oh, yeah. That, yeah. Was, so that was just, yeah. again, for me, uh, just absolutely... Blurring the line into actual doing something for real was And then weird. we ended up at Warwick Davis's house, his actual house. Yeah. Yeah, we went to his house. Some, and a very interesting web series. Yeah, if you haven't seen Dwarves Assembled... Don't, um, don't. <laughs> oh, no, don't uh, you should just that. check it's out the really last good. episode. It's really good. We're Another, amazing. So Simon stars in the first couple of episodes. Warwick was um, like Stanley Kubrick. He was the, the best director, and he would spend like three or four hours getting Simon just to say one line. It was, it was literally That's so perfectionist. And I think, I think when you watch the web series, you really see that come through. So I'm in, in like the, the first product. episode, and that's it. And then, and then Lewis I'm, I have more up. parts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my it's God. It's weird. Oh so Lewis, God. not known for his acting skill, especially since that. Um, it's all so right. Don't worry, man. I thought possibly, you were great. Possibly in theme with that, George and Zeki ask, what project or work, job offer, or anything could draw you away from the Yogs cast? Is there anything out there that you would rather be doing? A plumber? I'd really like to be a plumber. You would like to be a plumber? Something practical. A Super Mario plumber or just I a re- normal... No, no, an actual, an plumber. actual plumber. Not a video game 
plumber. Okay. I mean, actually, a real plumber. A real plumber. Learning a trade skill. Mark, people will always need plumbers they in will. this world. That's very true. Because, you know, toilets are always getting blocked. Sinks. People put mashed potato down sinks because they're crazy. They don't put it in the bin. And the plumber's got to come out and do that. That's, so I would give up YouTube in... In a yeah, heartbeat, tomorrow. really. Yeah, if there was a, an apprenticeship, yeah. some sort of course that would teach you to become a fantastic. But there is none. There is There's none. no way. I can't. It's just a dream. <laughs> it's a beautiful dream. Maybe one day. One there day. is anything um, other than plumbing, obviously, because that's very electrician, compelling. maybe. <laughs> Supporting the role. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We we'll have to see. I think. I think it's very difficult to say. When we were at school and we were we were we were doing careers advice, YouTube didn't exist. And what did you want to be? What did you see this career advisor? What I wanted did they to do recommend? computer computer stuff. Computer stuff. Yeah. I, I, I was told that I should go into like insurance and right. be an actuarist. Right. Which is a term that nobody knows unless they work in insurance. And then you ended up doing sort of security guards uh, at an old people's home. It's, yeah, yeah. That's and then fun. YouTube. Yeah. It's a natural progression for anyone it there is. wanting to get so into any, the industry. Yeah, if anyone wants to get and um, become a big YouTube channel, I can recommend being a security guard, looking after old people. Uh, don't become a plumber because Aspire that comes after. to be a plumber. That's exactly. after. YouTube, then plumbing. <laughs> that's, that's the way. Um, so, James asks um, assuming you've part. told your parents and relatives about YouTube in the Yogs cast, how have they reacted to it? Have they tried to talk you out of it? Have they been happy, excited, dumbfounded? What, what tends to be the, uh, the everyday. They, well, I don't know. I, I don't feel, I never felt the need to be embarrassed about it or hide it from anyone. And I always showed my parents, like, early videos. I remember I showed my then girlfriend's dad um, one of our wow videos when we were doing it's not even on YouTube anymore because it got taken out because he used copyright music in it. <laughs> yeah. but he was like no it's alright so it's I was like, right. I was like I knew I was I was alright there you know he, he didn't hate it yeah so that obviously gave me more the, famously your dad actually you know played Borderlands my dad doesn't know anything about games at all we, oh, I should get him involved how, really. how do I move forward Lewis <laughs> yeah. I'm like, is this a gun why am I shooting this man? That's right. It's basically that. It was a good time. It? Oh my god, we're really going back in time though here. This is like old school stuff. It's, it's amazing how, how long you've been making videos for. We've been I doing it very the... differently for the past sort of, two years though, since yes. we moved into the office. Since the towers, it's, uh, it's been a it's bit different. Towers. Um, which games are you looking forward to playing most this year? Is there anything that's coming out or just come out that We've already like... played Goat Sim, and that's oh, going to be. Yeah. That is my Did anyone game. see Goat Sim of that. another in the year? That's right. A couple of people have seen the video from, from last week. Who's it? watched Goat Sim? We've got hey! loads of people, everyone has. Best oh, fans. This is good. This is good. So, what is it? Three videos have already gone out, and it's just absolute ludicrousness. It's um, the best. It is. Oh my god. Yeah. Such fun. So it's game of another year, I think you called it. Game I don't of think we can another top it. the year. It's goat related game of the year, definitely. Ah, okay, definitely. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, come on. It's it's like a free roaming game. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but you're a goat. <laughs> and that's the only way they could have made the Grand Theft Auto series any better if you could be a goat. And yeah. that's what they did. That's what Coffee Stain did. They might actually do that. Best game. Um, Best I goat. wish you could drive a car as a goat. That would be, you know, the only way to make All it All you need better. to do is say these things and they will add them. Someone can mod it. Can someone mod uh, anyone exactly. in the audience? It'll be done within a week. It'll be done in a week. Now it will, yeah. A goat yeah. driving a car yeah. in goat sim. Yeah. Oh, God, that's going to be amazing. Um, so Vanessa asks, um, firstly, uh, kind of, you've become very successful. Well done. Um, but uh, Thank you very yes. much. <laughs> what, what's next? Do you guys you know, have any aspirations you know, towards like normal TV? Um, or Plumbing. You know, would you like to, <laughs> to go on to develop and promote new games? Um, are you aiming for more of a mainstream celebrity thing? You know, what, what's, are we going to be on QI anytime soon? Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. Because no. the people who book... Uh, would never have heard of us. No, that's so, right. Yeah, that's fine. I I don't think we really have any. Do you have any quite interesting facts, though? Would you actually be any good on QI? Uh, I, I talk a lot of not. I think I'd be the getting all the alarms, though. That's yeah. the problem. Or I'd be saying these things that aren't true, and then they like be edited out because they don't actually. <laughs> they're not real. A lot of yeah. things you say. A lot of the facts you say are like citation needed. They're slightly bullshit, or yeah. I got confused with something else. Yeah, but you're the same. 
What do you mean? Everything that comes out of your mouth is just How nonsense. dare you? How dare you, sir? <laughs> uh, so, in, in light of that, um, is there any, ex- any advice you would give to a small YouTube channel um, that is aspiring to be a, a big YouTube channel? Yeah. I maybe, mean, maybe you know, learn a, a trade skill. Maybe plumbing. No, 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 Something no, no, Something no. useful. I think, I think you have to do, like... Um, You have to do YouTube for the right reasons, you know, you have to do it because you want to create something that you want to share with other people and that they, that you, you have to do it for yourself. When we started doing this, we didn't do it for anyone else and really we still don't. We kind of had this sort of progression where we were just nothing, doing it for hobby, doing it for fun and then suddenly we were making enough money that we didn't need to do it. I mean, we could, we could quit and we'd be fine but we still do it because we love doing it and I think you have to have that behind it. You know, you wouldn't come in, well, you don't come in a lot but (gasps) you don't, (laughs) <laughs> no, that's not but then you said, Simon, there's a game about goats come in the office, Bam, or is there in a flash? Yeah. yeah. Actually, you, you told me about that. You were like, I've got this lovely organised spreadsheet with all the games that are coming out this year. Mm. And uh, Simon just went in there and just filled like the first four columns with all the word caps. goats. Yeah, goats. <coughs> it's so that important to me. That's, that's the sort of level of partnership that we have. <laughs>